Very recently, I watched a video by Scott Manley where he posted his annual update of various asteroids that were found uh, in our solar system. So actually, I decided to see if we can maybe simulate something similar in um, Universe Sandbox 2. And then I was looking for what's already available and found this. And this is Earth meets asteroids. Look at how beautiful this is going to be. I didn't even know this existed until I typed asteroid in Universe Sandbox 2. And okay. 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 I didn't expect so much destruction, but I think we're all dead now. So anyway, welcome to What the Math. <laughs> And as we watch, the rest of the Earth gets destroyed. Let me show you what I found here. Um, so what I wanted to see if we can actually try to simulate the actual realistic um, amount of asteroids in our solar system, at least according to Scott Manley's video, where he actually indicated that by 2015, we have found something like 685,000 asteroids in our solar system, at least in between Mars and Jupiter. And I wanted to see if we can create that in this particular game. And then I started looking around, what else do we have here? We have something called um, Asteroid 20, uh, 2014 RC, which is actually really interesting. It's um, an asteroid that passed by Earth, really close to Earth, about 10% the distance from Earth to the Moon. And um, it sort of flew by right here. And it unfortunately didn't hit any satellites or anything, even though it passed by really close. And it was about 23 meters in size, so it was relatively large. Uh, but, you know, it didn't hit us. And even if it did hit us, it would probably be something similar to what we've all seen uh, on the videos from Russia when there was an asteroid that actually did uh, land somewhere. So if this asteroid had a slightly different trajectory, it could have actually passed by even closer or possibly even hit the Earth. So let's see what happens if it actually does hit the Earth. We're going to put it on a collision course with Earth and boom. It just bounced off. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, looks like it hit some of South American countries and nothing really happened. So it's a, it was a very small rock, a very small asteroid that wouldn't really cause any damage. Now, we also have this other asteroid called Mr. Spock, which was actually uh, named after Leonard Nimoy's character, Mr. Spock from Star Trek, uh, in, I believe, May of 2015, after he passed away. Uh, and so we now have one of the few... Asteroids named after fictional characters. There, there aren't actually that many, but this is one of them. And this one is also located in the asteroid belt uh, with the other asteroids that we're going to be simulating today. So it has a quite an in interesting orbit that uh, will probably never approach Earth at all. But then I found this really cool thingy called database, database asteroids. So look at this. This is actually, and it actually takes a while to load, but this is actually all of the named asteroids. Oh, so many of them. Let's remove the trail so we can see them. All of the named asteroids in our solar system as of, I believe, 2014, um, or at least most of them. So all of these asteroids, they have actual names, and these are all real things, real guys, real people, real asteroids. Uh, it's much easier to see them if you click on chart so you can actually see a grid. Uh, because otherwise you'll have trouble seeing them. Oh, uh, let me just try to zoom out of here. Too bright, too bright, too bright. Sunburn. Uh, here we go. So here comes an asteroid number one, of course. The biggest one is Ceres. Then we have Vesta. Then we have Pallas, or Pallas, if you're French. Uh, Hygieia, and so on and so forth. Psyche, Davida. And you can keep going and explore all of them and see how small and how big they are. Each of these guys has a name. And uh, they're all named after some kind of a character, fictional or mythological, or possibly even real people. There, I'm sure there are some that have been named after people that passed away. Now, so that's pretty cool. And I think there's a, over a hundred, there's probably a couple of hundred of them here, with the smallest one being this guy right here. And the name is Regahun, Regjanahild, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so that's uh, that's cool. That's all nice and and uh, and great, I guess. But that still doesn't really show us the magnificent uh, number of asteroids that uh, Scott Manley showed us in his video. So I decided to let's make it. Let's make it from scratch. I'm gonna go into the solar system and look at how puny this solar, uh, not solar, sorry, asteroid belt is. Okay, there's Vesta and Ceres. There's a few, maybe like. 20 or so other asteroids that are flying there just for shows. But unfortunately, we don't have anything else. So 
Uh, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I know why we don't have any, anything else because I'll, as you'll see as I'm making this, it, it's going to stop to a crawl because there's just going to be too many objects to keep track of. So let's make our own asteroid belt. Now we're going to go into add here and into rings and we're going to be adding rings of Saturn uh, to our sun. So uh, well, what I'm going to do is open advanced settings. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you put in here, but what I'm going to make sure that I have is I want more mass and also I want uh, I want this to have... Well, let's just start with something simple. Let's actually start with just the rings. We're going to put about 2,500 of them and we're going to be putting them in a very specific radius. So let's just say um, we're going to be putting them in between uh, Mercury and Mars because if you ever if you do watch his video you'll see that there's actually quite a lot of them orbiting in that vicinity as well not too many not a lot not a lot a lot but there are some and so we need to look at Mercury's semi major axis which is the distance to the Sun and it says here it's 57 million kilometers so we're gonna put this value in a radius as I just say about 60 million but this is actually in meters so it has to be in kilometers and the outer radius is going to be at about 250 million kilometers. So let's see if this works. We're going to add one ring. Ta-da! Look at that. Perfect. All right. So this is looking good. So far, the game is not too slow. We have still like maybe 40 frames per second. And this is already looking a little bit more realistic, even though this is just a ring. So I may actually want to add... Because uh, they don't actually have a ring as much as they have something called... Uh, torus. It's actually a torus, a torus shape, which is basically a donut. Just think of it as a donut. So we're gonna add a donut shape as well. There we go. And now this is looking better. So this is what we have on the inside. There's probably a little bit more than that, but just for the sakes of maintaining frames per second, we're gonna leave it at that. So this is in between Mercury and Mars, and uh, there's quite a lot of them that do pass by really close to Earth, and so this is where the danger lies. Now le let's work on the outer. Um, I guess you can call it asteroid ring and this is of course between Mars and Jupiter and it only reaches about halfway the distance between Mars and Jupiter so it kind of goes this way so uh, in between Mars and Jupiter the distance is going to be from about 300 million kilometers to approximately 600 million kilometers all right let's test one ring and boom Okay, good. This is looking good. Maybe even a little bit more spread out, actually. Let's make this about 250 as well. Excellent. All right, so looking good. Now, this is only about 10,000 asteroids. I think I did this four times, and I've been adding, what? 2,500. This is only 10,000 asteroids. In the Scott Manuel's video, he, uh, he at the end of the video, you can actually look at the number. The number is 685,731 asteroids as of 2015. I believe it's summer 2015. So we're going to try that. We're going to actually add that number and get ready to uh, see almost nothing because the game is about to have really, 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 really slow speed. I'm going to actually just use this as a torus as well. And what we're doing here is, well, mass can stay the same. This is going to be, I think the maximum you can add is 100,000 at a time. So here we go. This is going to be 100,000. Get ready. And boom. Boom. Here. Okay. So this is donut number one. And I'm getting like three frames per second. And this is only the sixth of the entire amount. This is only the sixth. And what I wanted to do actually is while my game is still working, because I don't think I can even add any more. We're going to add more at the end. But before we do that, let's actually try to go on Earth and stand on the surface and just see what it looks like. If we could see every asteroid um, or at least one sixth of them, what would it look like from the surface of Earth? Now, the game is already paused because it just doesn't process anymore because there's just way too many objects to control. Look at the sky here. I'm going to re remove this so you can see everything. Look at the sky. This is only one six, as I said. Uh, so I'm going to stand. Let's just stand in Saudi Arabia for a second and look into the sky. And what will we see? And look at that beauty. So all of those little spots that you see are little asteroids. And this is only this the fraction of what we would actually see in real life which we're gonna try to simulate in one second but this is basically approximately over a hundred thousand hundred ten thousand asteroids in the sky 
as they would appear from our planet if we could see every single one of them. Now, the thing is, we can't see them. We can only see them with uh, really powerful telescopes because they're so tiny. But if we could somehow track them, or if it was like really, really, really dark and they were really, really shiny, this is what we would actually see in the sky. But you know what, since we're going for realism here, and since Scott Manley showed us that it was more than that, let's add the rest. So we're gonna go back to our adding tool and create the big donut of asteroids around our solar system, or around our sun in the asteroid belt. So here comes 200,000, any second. Here comes 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000, and we're gonna make it 700,000 because it's actually 685, so I'm sure they'll find more asteroids this year, making it about 700,000 asteroids. Holy cow. I am getting one frame per second right now because there is ridiculously many asteroids to track. Now, you can probably see my mouse pointer, but that's really all I'm seeing right now, too. I tried to move the camera a little bit. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it is kind of moving really slowly, but this is basically the donut that would appear in the real solar system if it was really simulated in the game, uh, you know, ignoring the fact that it's going to slow us to a crawl. This is what this donut looks like um, in real life, and I'm going to try to maybe move a little bit to the side. All right, so as I'm trying to zoom in here very, very, very slow, you can kind of see the amount of asteroids present. But basically, yeah, this is just the inside, uh, basically the ring between Mars and Jupiter. But there's just as many of these guys in the outer solar system past Neptune. Uh, probably even more, actually. And this is, of course, the so-called um, Kuiper's Belt, or sometimes known as Kuiper's Belt. Uh, and, of course, there's the Urut's Cloud uh, beyond that, that has even more objects. So, there's so many objects in our solar system that we don't even... We can't even imagine the amount of stuff flying around there. So, it's not just the planets, it's not just the uh, few comets, it's not just the dwarf planets like Pluto and Ceres, but it's all these little guys as well that make this a huge, huge, hugely populated system of various amount of stuff. And I was finally able to zoom in on our Earth just to see what it would look like again. And you can kind of see the asteroids in the background. It's literally just like, you know, some kind of a beach and full of sand and stuff. So let's, uh, let this time we're going to stand in Africa and look into the sky from Africa. And just so very, very slowly, we're trying to lift our head up so we can see the beauty in the sky. And look at that. Look at all of these asteroids. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And of course, the game is totally frozen right now. I have not even advanced a second because it's it just in... Uh, right now, my computer is incapable of trying to calculate all of this motion in space. But this is what it would look like in its glory. If it was frozen in time, or actually this is what you would probably see right now in the sky if you could see every single asteroid, because they're not really moving that fast, so this is kind of the real, um, real picture that you would see. So there you have it, this is the asteroids, and or just a part of the asteroids that you would see in the sky. And of course this makes you wonder how tiny we are in this universe and how tiny we are even in our solar system because this is the amount of stuff that there is already present flying around and any of these asteroids if it actually came to visit our planet would cause some serious damage so imagine that one of them suddenly deviates from its orbit and comes for a visit because a lot of them do have a mass uh, big enough to cause serious damage.